morning children welcome back to social science class today's topic is civics unit 2 the constitution of india learning objectives are to learn about the constitution of india then the formation of our constitution then salient features of our constitution then to know about the fundamental rights and duties of the citizens of india india is a vast country vast means big country in order to administer people administer means rule in order to administer people who follow different religions speak different languages and belong to different caste and culture and treat everyone equally we need to have a good code of laws and guidelines which we call as the constitution of india so constitution of india is a supreme law which tells us how people are governed national goals and ideals rights and duties of the people powers and functions of the government okay children next do you know children why do we celebrate the republic day our constitution was framed and came into existence from 26 january 1950 existence means came into power that is why every year we observe this day as the republic day next there are other reasons why this constitution came into existence on 26 january when the congress met at lahore in 1929 the members of the congress unofficially declared the same day as the day of purna swaraj or the day of complete self governance the next year 26 january 1930 was celebrated as the independence day that day has been observed as our republic day these are the other reasons for the existence of constitution of india next what do you mean by the constitution of india the constitution of india is an authentic document containing the basic ideas principles and laws of a country it also defines the rights and duties of citizens the laws governing a country originate from the constitution every country is ruled on the basis of its constitution what are the things that make the constitution of india the constitution of india is the ultimate law which have to follow by it it explains the fundamental concepts of structures methods powers and duties of government bodies it also lists the fundamental rights and duties of the citizens directive principles that is government principles are also mentioned in the constitution so it is holistic in nature okay children let us see when did they begin to frame the constitution when did they begin in 1946 nearly 389 members of the constituent assembly who belong to different parties from different places came together to frame the constitution of india the chairman of the committee was mr rajendra prasad so they begin during the year 1946 who is the chairman dr rajendra prasad who is rajendra prasad first president of india let us see who were the other significant members in the constituent assembly 
this picture this image shows the other significant which is important members of the constituent assembly jawaharlal nehru sardar vallabhai patel maulana asa s radha krishnan vijay lakshmi pandit and sarojini naidu were the members in the constituent assembly next women members in the constituent assembly main women members are sarojini naidu sarojini naidu and vijay lakshmi pandit 15 women members were in the constituent assembly how many women members were there 15 women members were there in the constituent assembly next do you know children who is the father of the constitution of india right it is dr b r ambedkar who is the father of the constitution of india dr b r ambedkar next drafting committee drafting committee is nothing but writing committee the drafting committee was formed with eight members and its chairman was b r ambedkar b n rao was appointed as an advisor the committee met for the first time on 9th december 1946 on the same day the drafting of constitution constitution of india started okay when they started 1946 this is the drafting committee next we are going to learn about the formation of the indian constitution the constitution of nearly 60 countries including uk usa former ussr france switzerland etc were thoroughly examined and their best features have been adopted by our constitution okay how many countries 60 countries the constitution of nearly 60 countries were thoroughly examined next amendments and completion nearly 2000 amendments amendments means changes nearly 2000 amendments were made before the draft was finalized when did they complete this work it took a period of 2 years 11 months and 17 days it was completed on 26 november 1949 when did they complete the constitution 26 november 1949 when did they started already i told no it was started the drafting committee was started to write the constitution on 9th december 1946 they completed on 26 november 1949 the constitution was accepted by the constituent assembly so 26 november is celebrated as the day of constitution objectives of the constitution the preamble of our constitution stresses on justice liberty equality and fraternity preamble is nothing but introduction to the constitution it summarizes the constitution in a single sheet this sheet is the preamble preamble is an introduction to the constitution justice justice is nothing but citizens cannot be discriminated on the grounds of caste religion and gender social inequalities has to be reduced and the government should work for the welfare of the state next liberty there is no unreasonable restrictions on the citizens in what they think how they wish to express their thoughts and the way they wish to follow up their thoughts in actions that is 
liberty freedom next one is equality equality of status and of opportunity all are equal before the eyes of law so liberty means freedom freedom of thought expression belief faith and worship equality means equal status of opportunities equal status and opportunities all are equal before the eyes of law next one fraternity all of us should behave as the members of the same family and no one should treat the fellow citizen as an inferior one assuring the unity and integrity of the nation so preamble is the introduction to the constitution to understand the preamble better let's learn the meaning of certain terms used in it what does it mean by sovereign people have the supreme right to make decisions on internal as well as external matters the constitution has granted the people the right to rule the members of the parliament and the legislative assembly are elected by the people the right to decide is only in the hands of representatives so sovereignty refers to the ultimate power of the country next term next term is secular what is the meaning of secular citizens have the freedom to follow any religion and there is no official religion by the state government treats all the religions beliefs and practices with equal respect so law allows all the citizens of your country the right to follow different faith and religious beliefs all citizens enjoy the freedom of worship the country does not have a religion of its own all the religions in our country hold the same status all religions are equal india is a secular state next term is socialist what do you mean by socialist wealth is generated socially and should be shared equally by the society government should regulate the ownership of land and industries to reduce socio economic inequalities next term is democratic democratic is a form of government where people enjoy equal political rights to elect their rulers democracy is a form of government of the people by the people and for the people next term is republic the head of the state is an elected person and not a hereditary position that is not a blood relationship next one is parliament form of government we are going to learn about the form of government in india the government of india rules through parliament the constitution of india provides a parliamentary form of government both at the center and state so in which the prime minister and other ministers are selected by the legislature so parliamentary form of government is followed in india in a parliamentary system the executive is collectively responsible to the legislature the party which has the majority forms the government that is the party which wins the wins in the election forms the government next 
Next adjective is fundamental rights. What are fundamental rights? Fundamental rights are the basic human rights of all citizens. Fundamental rights are essential for an individual to develop his or her personality. What are they? Right to equality. Right to equality means all are equal before the eyes of law. Next, right to freedom. All citizens have the right to express themselves freely, to practice any religion, to move freely within the country, to live anywhere in India and to take up any job or practice any profession. All have the freedom of religion, expressing thought, then take up job, everything. Next, right against exploitation. It protects the children, women and the poor. Right against exploitation says that children below the age of 14 years should not be forced to work. Right to freedom of religion. That is, citizens can follow any religion. They have the freedom to change their religion. Next, right to constitutional remedies. It means the citizens of India have the right to go to the court of law for justice if any of their fundamental rights is violated. Next, cultural and educational rights. What it says? As an Indian citizen, they can follow any culture and they have their educational rights. That is, education is a fundamental right of every child between the age of 6 to 14. Next, directive principles. What do you mean by directive principles? There are certain guidelines to be followed while the government frame law. Though these are not mandatory, they should be taken into account. These are called directive principles. Directive principles of state policy is a feature which is incorporated in part 4 of our constitution. This principle seek to establish a welfare state in India. These are the different types of directive principles. Classification of directive principles of state policy. Socialist principle, articles 38, 39, 39A, 41, 42, 43, 43A, 47. Gandhian principles, articles 40, 43, 43B, 46, 47, 48. Liberal principles, articles 44, 45, 48, 48A, 49, 50, 51. These are the principles, guidelines to the government. Okay, next. Universal adult franchise. What do you mean by universal adult franchise? Universal adult franchise means the constitution presents the equal right to vote for all the citizens of above 18 years. So, every Indian citizen has the right to vote when they attain 18 years of age, irrespective of any caste, religion, gender or economic status. Okay, this is called Universal Adult Franchise. Next, we are going to learn about the fundamental duties of Indian citizen. Fundamental duties are respecting the national flag and national anthem, respect and protect the constitution, follow our great leaders who fought for our freedom, to protect our country, readiness to serve our country if necessary, treating everyone as brothers irrespective of their caste, religion, languages, races, etc to conserve our ancient heritage and conserve natural elements like forests, rivers and lakes and fauna that is animals to develop science, humanity and feelings of reformation 
to avoid non violence and protect government property parents or guardians providing equal opportunities to children between 6 to 14 years these are the duties of indian citizen do you know children the original copies of the constitution of india which is in hindi and english language are preserved in special helium filled cases in the library of the parliament of india facts number 1 dr b r ambedkar yan gopala sami k m munshi sayed ahmed shahdulla p l mitter n madhav rao t t k t p kaitan were the legal experts of the drafting committee number 2 the chairman of the drafting committee b r ambedkar was considered the chief architect who is the chief architect dr b r ambedkar number 3 when the constitution was drafted there were 395 articles in 22 parts and 8 schedules at present our indian constitution contains 448 articles in 25 parts and 12 schedules fact 4 101 amendments were made till 169 let us speak up what we have planned today 26 january is observed as our republic day the constitution is an authentic document containing the basic ideas principles and laws of our country the father of the constitution of india is dr b r ambedkar the preamble of our constitution stresses on justice liberty equality and fraternity according to the preamble india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic all citizens enjoy the freedom of worship the executive is collectively responsible for the literature sorry legislature fundamental rights are the basic human rights of all citizens directive principles are certain guidelines which are not mandatory universal adult franchise is every indian citizens right to vote when they attain 18 years of age last one every citizen has certain duties to thank you for listening the class children bye bye